not will somebody like to move the Oh you go for it, yeah. Thank you. Um let's just get get myself to warm there. Um I've seen the file notes and um of the conversation that you had with Louise Mason around the Erebus Whip round. Yep. And I'm confused, and it'd be really helpful if you could just clarify for me, because in, the, um, in it, it says you did talk to the Ministry about the direction of the Erebus vote, then it says you didn't, and then it says you spoke to the Mayor's office. What was the, what in effect did you do? Because I still don't know, and I'm still cheesed off about it. Well, uh, I asked people how, how they were inclined to vote, not how they were definitely going to vote at that stage. Um, and I did not communicate that decision to the Ministry. My question I'm was, not did sure. you communicate it to Well, that's, that's so long ago, I find that the only people that I spoke to about it besides yourselves were council staff. And I'm not sure which agencies to with respect to council staff. I simply listed the agencies who would have had an, an interest, which are community facilities, the mayor's office, and the communication staff. It, just so long ago, I'm not certain which of those I spoke to. I know I'd been speaking to each of them before we had that, that indicative vote. I'm not sure exactly which of them I spoke to after. But would it be fair to say that that conversation, everyone had an understanding it was Chatham House rules. In what sense? In that it was a closed conversation. I don't know, it was at a workshop. I'm not quite sure. So is everything that's right. discussed at the workshop free for disclosure outside of the room? Mm -hmm. It wasn't confidential. Okay. I mean, we could have said it would have been very helpful if prior to that whip round you said I'm seeking this information so I can give it to somebody that's going to pass it to the ministry. Well I didn't know whether anyone was going to pass it to the ministry but I thought I'm just identifying the sort of parts of the council who are very interested in the likely outcome and, and acknowledging that I may well have communicated the, that indicative vote to somebody and then magically they withdraw their application for land owner approval. Anyway, the other question that I had um, in your capacity as chair is the board resolution on the 3rd of November